I am going to be showing you today how to put a GIF inside your Bitmoji Classroom or your Google Slides to give them more life. So here's how I do it. I'm going to show you two different ways and you just figure out which one works best for you and that's how you do it. Okay, so I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go GIF transparent so that there's no background in the GIFs. So what you do is you click on the one you want and then if it has this checkerboard background that means it's a transparent background. So what you want to do is right click, copy image address, insert image, okay so you go insert image by URL address, you paste in what you copy from that other page, which is control V, and then click insert. So here it is, it has no background to it so that it will go into your slides without messing up other things behind it. Um, I'll show you one more way to do it. So let's find another transparent GIF. Um, and the way to tell if it's a GIF or not is if it has this GIF right here. So let's see if this one's transparent. This one is. So what I do is I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it. Click and hold it down and you go to where your presentation is, where that little plus sign is, and then drag it onto your slide. It's creating there it is. And then you can reposition it and resize it and just drag it where you want it to go. So you want to make sure that it has this GIF and then it has this checkered board background to make sure that there's it's a transparent background. And let me just show you really quickly what it looks like if it doesn't have a transparent background. So let's say we want this one and you can see there's no checkered board background so it's not transparent. So I'm going to just drag that into my presentation really quickly. So you see how there's the background and it makes it so it doesn't blend into my slide anymore. So the key words you want to type is the GIF transparent and then double check by making sure it has this checkered board background. Hopefully this helps and it will make your classrooms, well, your virtual classrooms more exciting for your children to interact with or your students to interact with. Okay, have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.